This is what we did on our second day in Koh Samui. What's up today? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really shy with the camera. Uh. Best. Best and best local ice cream. Market of got some wheat. Let's go. Pretty. Mm. That is so sweet. was a private tour I booked on via tour for the four of us. I needed something that was going to be efficient and well planned and well thought out. I had my mum and dad with me and it was their first time in Asia and honestly like this this was such a good idea this was such a good thing to do. This video is going to walk you through every stop that we did on the tour put the itinerary down below. So the tour started with two temples. <laughs> I'm really shy with the camera. Uh. One by one, each one, each person around the Buddha to get luck. Okay. This is what I need. Okay. okay. Done. <laughs> Sounds of the bell mm -hmm. is that mean the signal to the house. So on our second stop of the tour, it started at 10 when we picked up from our hotel, it's now 11.40 um, and we're just at this really cool temple, I forgot the name, but it's basically Buddha in all of the different religions and it's, it's incredible, really. Did you go inside? Yes. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. did you see around? All the paintings. Yeah. What they are painting about? About? Yeah. I don't know. So we told us off because we didn't see the paintings and then educate ourselves on what the story of Buddha is. So we're about to go find out what's the story of Buddha. We can't make sense of this. <laughs> I might Google it. Snack, snack, chocolate. All right, let's go this way. Family photo. One is tourist. This is one of the best, best and best local ice cream. And especially you step on the island. If you not try one of these, you're still missing. <laughs> Let's try. Coconut bowl with the cup with the... This is the best one up for the local here. Very I like that. Yeah, you see? <laughs> you like ice cream in a bun? Oh yeah. And you see, this is all the jam. They can, you can also put it on the top of that. Do you want the top? Uh, I'm alright.
This market took up the majority of our tour and it was so much fun just to have somebody, a local, who knows the people and just so you knew what you were looking at and all of the food that you like got to try as well. And he also really wanted to impress upon Harry and I as we were then going to be staying in Thailand just how much you should be paying for food. Oh no. <laughs> I think they've broken. The rain She's there. I wonder if it's the overlap stone. That's where we're going. They come here by the boat. They pass by here. They got the big storm is come. And then they got accident. The Ship boat is broke down. Yeah. Because of the <laughs> broke wind. Down. <laughs> Sink. Yeah. Grandfather and grandmother, they pass away. Right, and then they become the rock. That's why they call here grandfather ah. and grandmother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> After this, see what happened, and uh, I don't know what is it. Yeah. Actually, what? <laughs> no, funny. another. Just by the waterfall there was an elephant riding place and I had I said to Mr. Put that it made me feel sad. Um, obviously elephants are not native to a tiny island in the Bay of Thailand um, and also one had a chain, the one that wasn't walking had a chain around its foot and it was just on this tiny mound and I've been lucky enough to see elephants in the wild and it was it was just very like heartbreaking. I went over to have a look just because I was curious and, and I don't know whether or not it was the right thing to do but bought some f a bowl of bananas for the elephant um, as I just, I just felt I needed to do something but I don't know whether or not uh, am I just fueling their profit? I've got no idea. But that was really nice. I don't, I haven't ever fed an elephant well I have when I was a lot younger and that was really lovely, really special but I just, I definitely wouldn't 
go for riding. We're now in Chiang Mai and I'd love to go and see um, the elephants in sanctuaries, but yeah, it was it was quite sad, and it, but it is what it is. But yeah, overall, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's given you some clue as to what you should plan to do during your day. If you can, you definitely should book this tour. Um, I understand that they can all get very busy as a very small company, so it's probably best to book in advance, but as I said, I got to book mine at 5 p.m. the night before, so I suppose it's like luck. If you, if you want any more inspiration, just check out the whole playlist as what we did for what we did in Koh Samui, as everybody loved like every single day that we did. We were so lucky with the activities that we chose to do and the time that we spent on Koh Samui. We ended up having such a lovely time. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.